Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about candies and of course carbon fiber. So had a lot of requests about this so we figured we'd shoot a quick little video on it. And so what we're gonna be showing you guys today is it's gonna be pretty simple, pretty basic, but it's gonna be really cool because if you do have a customer that wants a custom colored carbon fiber, um, then you can be able to give that to them. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna dip, uh, we've got about eight of these right here and we've got a couple more that we've already done. And so um, we've got all of these base coated in a silver base paint. And so they've already been prepped, they've already been ready to go, we've already painted them. And now we're gonna dip them in of course our CF282. Uh, if you uh, need a link, uh, we'll have it in the description below for where you can purchase that at as well. Um, but the CF282 is pretty much gonna be one of our most popular carbon fibers. So we do it a lot on a lot of our videos. Uh, it's very realistic, uh, really looks good under a silver, or of course, if you've seen any of the videos, we do a dark charcoal metallic. That looks really good as well. So we, um, we use it quite a bit and it gives a really good look on a carbon fiber. But to take it one step further, we're gonna add some candies to this mix. So uh, what we've got is, is we've got our carbon, we've got our parts already base coated, and so pretty much we're gonna dip all of these in the carbon fiber so then they'll all be the same. Now, a couple of things to remember. We've got a silver metallic base coat, so then that way whenever we put the candy color over the actual uh, dip, then the black, because this is a black pattern, it's a black and clear, it shows through with the silver metallic. And so uh, whenever we put the candy over the top of it, then it will take over the color of the silver metallic, but the black will still stay black. And so instead of having a silver and black carbon fiber, you now have a red and black, a blue and black, a green and black, a uh, purple and black and there's so many other colors that you can choose from and so we kind of want to shoot a quick little video show you guys what all the possibilities are with just one carbon fiber so let's go ahead let's get these all dipped uh, we'll shoot some video with um, us spraying the different candies and that way you can see and the other neat thing about the candies is that you can vary the amount of candy that you put on so if you wanted a lighter red or you wanted a darker red you can spray one coat or two coats or three coats and you can get varying different colors of how much red you want on that part um, now the problem with that is that if you have multiple parts you have to make sure that you spray them all the exact same because you don't want a lighter red part and a darker red part or something like that. But um, that's kind of more into something else. We'll get into a later video. But for right now, to show you guys what all you can really do with candies and carbon fiber, um, let's get to it.
got these things out of the booth. Everything came out amazing. And so, uh, as you can tell, there is tons of different colors that you can have for your carbon fiber. And so, just to kind of give you an idea, we went ahead and showed you a piece, uh, or we've got a piece here, of just a normal carbon fiber, uh, which is probably one of our most popular uh, bases to use for the carbon fiber. So, of course, you can see we've got our normal carbon right here. Looks really good, most realistic on the carbon fiber. And then, of course, once you have that, then you can move into the color carbon fiber. So you have something like pink or dark blue or green or purple or red or even a light blue or a, um, an orange or even a gold. And so uh, with all of these colors right here, you can have endless possibilities of different colors for your carbon fiber. And the neat thing about it is they're all the exact same carbon fiber that we used on this piece and that we used on every one of these pieces. So um, you can get really creative with your carbon fiber and you can even go so far as doing fades and you know uh, two tones and color shifts and all that stuff all with carbon fiber. So um, it's a really neat idea, a really cool um, look that you can give and um, you know, the possibilities are literally endless on any of the colors that you can do. So as you can tell, adding the candy made a dramatic effect on all the colors that you want to see on a carbon fiber. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know we always do. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related, as well as also let me know what color you'd like the best on the carbon fibers because there is tons of different colors. So definitely let me know which one that you would like to, um, to have for your next project. Also, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks on anything hydrographics related. And of course, if you like the video, please give us a big thumbs up. Uh, we always love to uh, have that for all of our videos that we make. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.